children, welcome to our numeracy lesson today. This lesson was produced by Rwanda Education Board with support from UNICEF. My name is Teacher John. This lesson is from Unit 6 Primary 4 Mathematics. But friends from Primary 5 and Primary 6 are free to participate in this lesson for purposes of revision. Dear adults, we still appreciate your support during these radio learning lessons. Dear friends, I think you already have your notebook and a pen with you. For those who don't have them yet, you have a few seconds to pick them. Welcome back, dear children. Now, let us review what we learned in the previous lesson. Dear children, what did we learn in our previous numeracy lesson? Very good. In our previous numeracy lesson, we learned about converting from meters to other units. We learned that to convert from meters to other units, we divide with the number of meters equivalent to a single of that unit. We learned that to convert from meters to other units, we divide with the number of meters equivalent to a single of that unit. And in today's lesson, friends, we will learn about adding units of length. In today's lesson, we will learn about adding units of length. But first, let us have a break. We'll be back shortly. Come along and play with us. Welcome back, dear children. Like I said before the break, in today's lesson, we will learn about adding length. Dear friends, the process of addition of length is exactly similar to the addition of ordinary numbers. The process of addition of length is exactly similar to the addition of ordinary numbers. Let us have some examples. Example 1. Add 3 meters plus 12 meters. Add 3 meters plus 12 meters. Very good. Since both lengths to be added have the same unit, we now add normally. Since both lengths to be added have the same unit, we now add normally. And we know very well, since 3 plus 12 equals 15, since 3 plus 12 equals 15, similarly, 3 meters plus 12 meters equals 15 meters. 3 meters plus 12 meters equals 15 meters. But if the units to be added are different, we first convert them into the same units of length before we add. For example, add 30 meters plus 10 decimeters. Give the answer in meters. Give the answer in meters. For example, add 30 meters plus 10 decimeters. Give the answer in meters. As you see, friends, the length to be added are in different units. And since our answer should be in meters, we first convert the 10 decimeters to meters. Friends, how many meters are in 10 decimeters? Very good. In our previous lesson, we already learned that 10 decimeters equal to 1 meters. Therefore, 30 meters plus 10 decimeters equals 30 meters plus 1 meter, which is equal to 31 meters. I repeat, in our previous lesson, we already learned that 
10 decimeters are equivalent to 1 meter. Therefore, 30 meters plus 10 decimeters are equivalent to 30 meters plus 1 meter. And this is equal to 31 meters. Well done, friends. Let us have a break. We'll be back shortly with more examples. Come along and play with us. Welcome back, dear children. Let us have more examples. Example three. Add two kilometers. Add two kilometers plus 200 meters. Give the answer in meters. Add two kilometers plus 200 meters. Give the answer in meters. First, we convert two kilometers in meters. Friends, how many meters are in two kilometers? How many meters are in two kilometers? Very good. There are 2,000 meters in two kilometers. There are 2,000 meters in two kilometers. Therefore, two kilometers plus 200 meters is the same as 2,000 meters plus 200 meters. And now you can see our units are the same. That means we add normally. 2,000 meters plus 200 meters equals 2,200 meters. Equals 2,200 meters. Let us have our last example, friends. Example four. Can you add 76 hectometers plus four kilometers? Add 76 hectometers plus four kilometers. Give the answer in hectometers. We are adding 76 hectometers plus four kilometers. And we are to give the answer in hectometers. 76 are already in hectometers. We have to convert 4 kilometers to hectometers. We first convert 4 kilometers to hectometers. Since 1 kilometer equals 10 hectometers, 4 kilometers equals how many friends? Since 1 kilometer equals 10 hectometers, how many hectometers are in four kilometers, dear friends? Very good. There are 40 hectometers in four kilometers. There are 40 hectometers in four kilometers. Therefore, 76 hectometers plus 40 hectometers equals 116 hectometers. When units are the same, we add normally. Therefore, 76 hectometers plus 4 kilometers is the same as 76 hectometers plus 40 hectometers. And since the units are the same, we add normally. 76 hectometers plus 40 hectometers is the same as 116 hectometers. Well done, friends. Now let us have a short break. When we come back, be ready to try out some questions on your own. Come along and play with us. Welcome back, dear children. Can you add the following? A. 5 meters plus 40 decimeters. Give the answer in decimeters. 5 meters plus 40 decimeters. Give the answer in decimeters. And B is 400 centimeters plus 1 meter. Give the answer in meters. I repeat, the question B is 400 centimeters plus 1 meter. Give the answer in meters. 
you have few seconds to do so. Dear adults, check to see whether my friends are doing the right thing. Well done, friends. I hope you have finished. Let us check our answers. For question A, 5 meters plus 40 decimeters, I know you first converted 5 meters to decimeters because we are to give our answer in decimeters. 5 meters plus 40 decimeters, you first converted 5 meters to decimeter, and this gives... 50 decimeters. 5 meters to decimeters gives 50 decimeters. That's because 1 meter equals 10 decimeters. So that gives us 5 meters plus 40 decimeters is the same as 50 decimeters plus 40 decimeters. And since the units are the same, we add normally. 50 decimeters plus 40 decimeters is the same as 90 decimeters. 50 decimeters plus 40 decimeters is the same as 90 decimeters. And for question B, 400 centimeters plus 1 meter. 400 centimeters plus 1 meter. We were to give the answer in meters. We are to give the answer in meters. That means we need to convert 400 centimeters to meters first before we add. That means we need to convert 400 centimeters to meters first before we add. 400 centimeters equals 4 meters. 400 centimeters equal to 4 meters. And therefore, 400 centimeters plus 1 meter is the same as 4 meters plus 1 meter. And this equals to 5 meters. 4 meters plus 1 meter, we get 5 meters. We said when units are the same, we add normally. Well done, friends. Before we end our lesson, let us review what we have learned today. In today's lesson, we have learned about adding units of length. We learned that the process of addition of length is exactly similar to the addition of ordinary numbers. We learned that the process of addition of length is exactly similar to the addition of ordinary numbers. But if the units to be added are different, we first convert them into the same units of length before we add. But if the units are different, we first convert them into the same units of length before we add. For your homework, friends, add the following length. A, 100 centimeters plus 9 meters. Give the answer in centimeters. A is... 100 centimeters plus 9 meters. Give the answer in centimeters. And B is 3,000 meters plus 4 hectometers. Give the answer in hectometers. B is 3,000 meters plus 4 hectometers. Give the answer in hectometers. That is it for today. Thank you for participating. Remember to join us for our next numeracy lesson. Bye-bye. Goodbye, 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 teacher. Goodbye, children. See you next time. Goodbye, 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 teacher. Goodbye, children. See you next time.